This is a direct challenge to YouTube user Tom Tresh 2 who starts out every video, Good evening, fellow collectors! However, he has not shown one single piece of his collection. Now, for full disclosure, I have to say, I do not have an extensive sports memorabilia collection. I have a little one. I mainly participate in autographs of celebrities and presidents and dignitaries. I do have a little collection. This is a ball signed by Bug Selig. Nothing special, probably worth the price of the ball. In fact, it probably devalues the ball. But still, signed by Bud Selig. No certificate of authenticity. But it's real. You know how I know it's real? Because he addressed it to me. He sent this to me. There's the stamps. So that's how I know it's real. Not everything has to have a certificate of authenticity. You're not all, don't be biased. All right, go on eBay, buy stuff. I got this myself, by the way. You can do it too, it's real easy. But I'm just saying, not everybody out there sells forgeries. However, I'm not a signature expert, nor is Tom Trashy never claimed to be. But I do want to focus on one particular autograph that I think is suspect on eBay. I could be wrong, but I think it's suspect. And the eBay ID is Perch712, that's P-E-R-C-H-712. And the ball is a Bob Gibson autograph baseball. Look how ugly that is. That is just horrible. Look how ugly, oh my goodness. Look how ugly that Bob Gibson is. And I blame you. The dopey eBay buyer. Look how ugly that Bob Gibson ball is. Look how ugly Bob Gibson is. Anyway. Tom, just show part of your collection. You're showing more mullet than collection, dude. Show at least... Look, I, I don't even claim to have this big, huge sports collection. I have this one Bud Selig ball and a few other things that probably are worth $90 as a whole. But I don't go on YouTube claiming to be some, you know, signature expert debunking everybody. And let me tell you something. Uh, Tom Trash in his first video on the Coach's Corner autograph website, that was what his first um, video was about, he said that he has no vested interest. Well, if you do a little research, you'll find out that that's a load of bull. I have no vested interest. I don't sell stuff. I don't buy stuff on eBay. I don't sell stuff on Craigslist. I don't even sell stuff at a swap meet. Okay? So I have no vested interest. 